Good morning. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. The temperature definitely dropped quite a few notches, if you know what I'm talking about. So I didn't really think it was too good to be true, this, this 40, 50 degree weather. And uh, we're back to this cold. So let me make sure I have sound. I do have sound. And I just want to share this out. And I hope that if you're hopping on, that you will say hello. And that if you're catching the replay, you'll still say hello and let me know how you're doing, what's working for you, and how I can help you and bring you more tips. So today, I wanted to talk to you about, again, my favorite thing, reducing stress and incorporating different things to help you through the day. But more, more importantly, picking out what resonates with you, what makes you happy, what you will do and that you will stick to, right? So I love looking up different things to do. And you guys know that I love lavender essential oil, right? So I have another trick. So um, one of my friends, Alexis, who runs the lemonade community, was telling me about another oil, right? And I'm probably going to butcher the name, but it's Copaiba, Copaiba. That's the oil. So this, there's a little mixture that I created. Um, these are really awesome and safe. But I like incorporating different things to reduce stress and anxiety because really, those are the things we're feeling most people talk about that all the time. So what I have done is I made a little roller bottle and I will talk about that in a few minutes, but I was researching ways, other ways to incorporate movement and meditation and just more stress reducing and, uh, uh, tips. And when I was researching it, I was talking to one of my friends and as we were driving, she says to me, um, you know, every time I, I meditate, my mind wanders. So I was thinking to myself, and I actually said to her, I said, well, I think that's a good thing. I said, you're realizing that you are, your mind is wandering and you're bringing it back to focus, right? So of course I can't leave that alone. I went and researched it and I found a very good article. Um, and I will share it in the comments. I don't think I can share it right now. Uh, but anyway, it's a great article. And what I wanted to point out was mind wandering is not a problem. And that's regarding anybody that's tried meditation, that keeps on thinking that it's not good for them, that their mind wanders. It says here that it is good. So I wanted to read this one, uh, little, this one sentence. From this perspective, mind wandering isn't a problem. Indeed, noticing it means we're starting to see our habitual patterns of perception more clearly. So with awareness, we start to see that, th that thoughts are just thoughts, sensations, just sensations, sights, just sights, and sounds, just sounds. So I'll add that in the comments. So I found that to be very helpful because meditation is my go-to thing. I really love it. And I really believe that if you do it daily, it can reduce stress and anxiety. Um, and that's just my opinion. The other thing was, my other tip is get moving. So you know how I always say, if you're having a moment and you're, you try, you want to do these deep breaths and it just can't, it's just not getting better. Um, and I tell you to remove yourself from the situation, meaning say you have to go to the bathroom, right? So movement is also a great way to get out of that, to, to start reducing that stress and to start getting you back into your groove and to get you back into focus, right? So if you're, want this if you want to do this and this is a great way to start out your day dance to three songs that's right set your playlist you know how much i love this playlist thing dance to three songs and nobody's watching you and who cares how you're dancing dance like nobody's watching anyway so um i would play some music now but i don't want to go into facebook jail so i'm just going to leave it alone because they that's what they do when you play music on here um, but that's another way to incorporate some stress reduction into your day. All right. So I want to read this mantra to you because I really believe it's so this today. Just, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And 
you know, a lot of us go through things throughout the day. We go through things all the time. And I, it's just a quick reminder, because I have read this before. This mantra is amazing. So it's from this book, My Pocket Mantras. Hi, Shannon. I'm going to add it in the comments, okay? I'll add all these links in the comments. But I release things that are no longer in my control. So write this down if you can, if you're not driving. I release things that are no longer in my control. How and when to recite this mantra? Recite this mantra three times, either out loud or quietly, to yourself as often as needed. How does this mantra help you? And this mantra has helped me many times <laughs> because sometimes we do get these thoughts of why is this happening? Why is this going on? Why is this person this way? Why did I do that or whatever? And sometimes we get into that and we have this is a great mantra to use. This mantra is perfect to use if you find yourself ruminating about what other people will do or what events will transpire. When you don't stop to check in with yourself, often you find that you're stressing about things that are not really in your control. There is really only one thing you can control in this life, and that is you. Your responses, thoughts, words, and actions. I'll repeat that. There is, only, there is really only one thing you can control in this life, and that is you. Your responses, thoughts, words, and actions. Everything else is somewhat out of your control. You can't control others. You can't control all the situations you find yourself in. And you can't control the weather. I wish I could control the weather. This mantra is designed to remind you of this and to help you release all the things that are, make, that are taking up space in your mind that need to go. There is no point in worrying about things that are not in your control. So give yourself permission to release them. This can do wonders for your stress levels and can help you relieve worrisome and fearful thinking. Releasing the things you have no control over also helps you to prioritize the things that you do have control over. This means that you will have more time to focus on making proactive changes rather than wasting time obsessing about things you cannot change and have no control over. So I really think that that's a super powerful mantra and I really love this book. I really, it's one of my favorites. And I hope I get to meet this person <laughs> someday. You never know. But it's really super powerful. It has helped me through many things. And I hope that that mantra helps you. Remember people to take care of yourself. Remember to take action every single day. Do something each day, whether it's a minute or five minutes to reduce the stress level, to reduce that anxiety. And that's my tip. My, my couple of tips for you today. I'm going to add all the links in the comments. And I also want to remind you that I am here to help you. So please, please, I'm going to leave my email here. Uh, 270. Tony270 at gmail.com. And let me know what it is that you need help with. All right. Stay safe, people, and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.